Get it on. Morning, everybody, and welcome to another Shat Gamer video. It is I, Shat Gamer, coming to you from glorious Shatville. So thank you so much for joining me today. It's another update video. Uh, Web3 Gaming, uh, my Web3 Gaming update. Um, and that's going to include some Pegaxi, as you can see up here. Um, Honeyland and some Million on Mars. Uh, I'm going to leave Sunflowerland out of it today. Just going to focus on those three. And I know I say this every other video, but I'm going to try and keep this one quick and concise. So, number one, wanted to start off with, hey, I just won a, uh, or came in first in this race. So let's switch over to the Pegaxi update they released the long-awaited stadium selection and it's a little different than what i was expecting um what you have are the three options down below this changes daily um and then based on what these stats are you can figure out and pick the uh the best option um that you have within your pegaxi or pega collection and race them so um, it looks as though I won't have any fire uh, racers. Uh, this is a I, this did well yesterday in the wind, so I'll probably run this more in wind. Uh, this one as well. Although actually, it's got better water stats, so I'll I'll try both. But it did well in the in some wind yesterday, and then this guy, of course, just the water. The it's amazing how much one little stat point affects the results so from the six to the seven yesterday seemed to be quite big um so yeah that was the was essentially the biggest release and the biggest update for pegaxi that got me re-energized um they do have a number of other adjustments in their breeding breeding and fusing um I unfortunately don't have anything out, so you're not going to see anything. Uh, but those are very interesting. And you know what? Before I misquote anything, I do want to just double check to make sure that I'm giving you the right info. Um, and actually, I was a little confused by it as far as where are the announcements um as far as the there are there appear to be two different types of breeding and or fusing so they discussed having the re-roll for the legendary however it's not really a re-roll um to me personally a re-roll would be you get your one single pega and just apply a bunch of viz to it and it rerolls the stats. This is essentially if you fuse two legendaries and then you get a legendary back. Um, so the new breeding changes, it, as mentioned, is quite interesting. So they have made it. So if you're breeding two legendaries, um, there's a potential to get a legendary out of it. Whereas before you were guaranteed to get an epic. So they, they've spread out, I will share this, actually, this tab, just so you can see. So they've essentially split and broken down um, your chances, depending on what you're breeding. So it is 12%, you're most likely going to get an epic. However, you could also get a rare and even a pacer if you're breeding legendary. So I was going to do this... Uh, the end of this coming week because i will be going away and uh the cooldown will be you know unaffected uh because i'm not going to be able to race them anyway so this has been another big one that uh that i was pretty happy to see what else was there breeding changes genetic fusing so the fusing <laughs> doesn't really affect me again because i don't have um I, I don't have pegas to to fuse i could do pacers however it's uh 
I, I don't know that I want to blow up 40% winning Pacers to uh, to do an epic or to, into a rare. However, it might make sense. It really might. So anyway, um, this is essentially the same thing. So the genetic fusing is interesting as I can fuse those 40% pacers. In theory, it would get to a close 40% epic. Um, so this is another one. They, they just went ham on their updates and it, it seems to be good. Uh, it gave the the Viz token a little bit of a bump, so that was nice. And yeah, it, it is. It has just added a, a, a different element and a sense of um, player control uh, and strategy. So kudos to the Pegaxi team and this these recent releases for uh, the gameplay releases. So thank you to them. Let's move on to Honeyland. Boom, baby. I want to first shout out uh, Justin from Honeyland who made uh, my mint possible. Uh, Crypto.com can just suck an egg. Uh, they are still having troubles with the Solana network and, and sending out um, Solana transactions. So suck an egg, Crypto.com. Uh, but Justin from Honeyland, um, Steve Woody uh, from Undisputed Noobs, uh, who offered to to help out as well. You know, shout out to him. Go check him out, Undisputed Noobs, uh, and Steve Woody on Twitter as well. Just as, again, I've said it before. I'll say it again. Stand up, dude. Justin from Honeyland made this happen. Was able to uh, you know to front me some soul that I had, that I had converted uh, some mining uh profits from and got me the uh into the mint before the deadline so thanks to him unfortunately i did not get a queen say la vie uh this is just that was you know the highlight of the week was the mint they sold out so congrats to the team um there was a huge release yesterday from cory uh cory honeyland cory that uh that is paving the way to some pretty cool things in the near future laid out some of the roadmap so that was nice to see uh there's also an incubating staking essentially that uh it was kind of funny because he was saying how like in one breath said how staking was pretty lazy <laughs> and then introduces incubating which is a form of staking until the game um, is essentially released the alpha. So that, uh, that's happening. There's incubating, which is here. And unfortunately, I don't have my Solana wallet uh, connected here. However, four of these 3432 are my eggs. <laughs> so whatever percentage actually comes out of it, I'm surprised it's only at 62% though. I feel like that should be higher. I feel like that should be higher. Oh no, 62% of, sorry, that's 62% of the Genesis eggs. So of the total, my mistake. Anyhow, um, that was great. The roadmap seems awesome. I wish I lived in New York because they're going to have an actual meet and greet uh, with the Genesis holders. That would have been great to go and see um and be part of but yeah say la vie i'm not in new york don't have the funds to uh to fly down there and rent a place in manhattan to uh to go and enjoy it but you know what I, I may try and pop on check things out in the uh live feed who knows um but yes honeyland is happening um I'll leave links to these projects below. Um, just because, again, they're what I'm in. It's not financial advice. Just what I'm in. And I think this one's going to be pretty cool. So waiting for you know future updates and rollouts, I'll be sure to post something regarding this as well uh, in future updates. So stay tuned for that. Moving on to something that... Uh, 
is I'd say a little bit of a downer, but not. So it's a downer because I don't believe I am actually smart enough to understand the mechanics of this game yet. Uh, I've been at it. There's nothing I, I'm trying to figure out. Again, the self-sustainability uh, of the game. How do I maintain enough energy, uh, stamina, food, to and dusk for that matter, to just be able to roll day to day and complete um, tasks. So that is uh, unfortunate, uh, but this one is, it's a good one. Um, again, Steve uh, Woody from Undisputed Nooms introduced me to this, got me hyped up about it. I'm in it. Uh, I've got three plots of land, two of which are just commons. One of them is uncommon. I've got, no, do I have, wait a minute, three or four, four pieces of, uh, of land. Uh, so I picked up three yesterday on the cheap. Um, one of them had this on it. So that was uh, a surprise. Must have been, you know, a sunflower event uh, holder who decided to just bail. So yeah, ended up nabbing this uh and yeah again it's just the the sustainability part of it um i, I see the scavenging tool that ends up having you know a few uh, energy points left while having some stamina but i can't use it up so it i'm still a little confused with some things um they ended up doing away with just the daily all right you made it to the screen you know collect your bonus now there's actually stuff that you have to do so i need to deliver 10 rich clay in order to get the daily bonus and i've only been able to scavenge five so you know what in the as we're here let me just find a plot of land and scavenge so it is something that uh, that is needed oh they did open up some parcels of land so that's that was new from yesterday. And, oh, metal bits and clay. Dope. I do need to save. Ooh, nuts. So I need, anyhow, so again, this just plays into, this is a, supposed to be a quick one, and I'm game playing as, uh, as I record. So, um, if anybody out there has, you know, some great quick starter guides, some info, I've got 300, roughly 340, uh, wax that I can just toss into this to, uh, to kind of get me going again, maybe increase my dusk. I don't know. Do hit me up in the comments. Let me know how to, uh, to go about, uh, building up a sustainable, um, economy for myself at least um and then i can build out from there to uh to start actually earning uh and that i think should wrap it up here folks um again i wanted to keep this quick this wasn't quick it uh again hit uh you know double digits in uh, the minute uh corner so thank you so much that's all i can say thanks for stopping by do hit me up on twitter and on twitch where i stream monday wednesday thursday evenings and saturday mornings um both of those are at shack gamer 80 so feel free to check me out on those i'd love to see you'd love to chat with you uh, during streams or just read your comments uh here on youtube so uh it is i shack gamer coming to you from glory shadville as always stay healthy stay safe a lot of love i'm out peace Mm-hmm.